Having a season pass does give you a lot of benefits, one of them being reciprocal discounts at other resorts. That's why today I'm heading down to Vernon from Revelstoke. Uh, it's a two hour drive and we're gonna go check out the ski resort of Silver Star. I've heard good things. I don't know what to expect. Let's hit the road and see how we get on. Take the next left onto Pinnacles Road, then you will arrive at your destination. Okay, first run at Silver Star. I don't know where we are yet. I don't know where we're going. Just point the skis. And let's aim downward. Ooh, a bit of a foggy start. So first impressions, we've got some real nice groomers uh, on some of these runs. There's definitely a limited amount of terrain opening and the conditions are varied um, from what I can see being around. But uh, nice to get a, a new uh, resort under my skis so far and uh, let's uh, try and explore a little more. Oh, this is interesting. Inversion's making it very hard to see. I have no idea where I am. But we're having an adventure. I think this is taking me to Alpine Meadows. Oh boy. <laughs> ah. Maybe this was not such a good idea. hoping this leads me back to the resort silver queen i'm hoping that's the lift i need second run in and i am pretty lost i don't know where i am right now trying to find my bearings uh, the inversion with the clouds is not helping although it does look like it's burning off which is good i just wish i could have my hands on a on a piece map um, but everything that i saw down in the resort was all sort of focused towards qr codes and i guess you know that's trying to be environmentally friendly which is great but if you feel visiting for the first time and you're stuck in the clouds how are you supposed to know where you are Well, the good news is I got myself unlost, found my way back. The even better news is that Mr. Blue Sky has popped out. Awesome, it's turning into a bluebird day. I mean, a BC is going to have a low year of snowfall um, and we get this instead. It's not all bad. Um, I have seen a little bit of powder. So we are going to take this adventure up a notch and see just what we can find.
not so much. Woo! -hoo! Okay, so now I've finally had the chance to uh, pull up the app in the Gondi. Uh, here's a couple of numbers to run by you. So uh, the village elevation is uh, 1,609 meters. So one of the main advantages of visiting Silver Star is that pretty much everything in here is ski in, ski out. So again, real tick in the box for anyone who's looking to come up from Vernon or from uh, Kelowna. Uh, Skiable Acres 3,282, uh, one of the bigger resorts in BC. Um, 760 meters of total vertical drop, annual snowfall of seven meters, uh, and 132 marked runs. In terms of distance, it's only 22 kilometers from Vernon and 65 kilometers from Kelowna. So less than a half an hour drive up from Vernon and then an hour from Kelowna. Real close proximity to everyone who's living in the cities and not far from where I've come from on Revelstoke. The one thing I, I gotta say I really like about Silver Star so far is all these different like little mini options you have for, for connecting runs. Uh, and it feels like each one's a little bit different and for someone who's new here, you don't actually know where it's gonna go. Um, but it's all sort of intermediate family friendly runs, which, which is good. And I imagine when there's you know a lot more snow on it and it's all fully groomed, these are great ones to just let rip on. But uh, at the moment, it's still a case of just being in discovery mode. Uh, The original plan was to make this a two-day trip and team up with some friends I made that live nearby, get a bit more of a guided tour of the resort and also explore the village. But the winter seasonal flu is doing the rounds, it's got them and I think it got me last night after the staff Christmas dinner. So it is going to be just a one-day trip. Uh, the conditions right now, late in the afternoon, it's quite rocky, um, icy in places so I'm not sure how many more runs we're going to do here. We don't want to have any accidents uh, but it has overall been a pretty good day.
that is a wrap of a day skiing at Silver Star Mountain Resort. I am definitely going to be back to experience more of this place when there's more snow and more of that terrain is open because I really enjoyed it and it's not that far away from Revelstoke. But what did you guys think? It was only a taster today, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video if you did enjoy it and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hope you guys all have a lovely Christmas holidays and I'll see you in the next video.